Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. So we are continuing our dental anatomy sessions. So last session we finished maxillary canine. This session is about mandibular canine. After that, uh, we'll move on to the premolar section. Uh, we are suddenly jumping to mandibular canine just because uh, studying canines together uh, is mm, easy because uh, many features are common. So we'll start with uh, mandibular canine. It's uh, uh, first the tooth numbering system we have three system which are there one is the universal then comes the uh, Zygmunti Palmer system then the FTA system so I'm not uh, drawing uh, again and again so hope you know the system very well so in universal the number is 22 and 27 okay so 1 8 9 16, 17, 24, 25, 32. So it will come here 22 and 26, 27. Okay, this is canine. So we are talking about mandibular canine. Now the Zygmunti system, we know how it will come like this. And FTA system is 3 3 and 4 3. This is a quadrant and this is a tooth. Now the chronology. Chronology, the first evidence of calcification, it is four to five months. Enamel completed at six to seven years. Eruption by nine to 10 years and root completion by 12 to 14 years. And the dimension as you see here. So the crown length is 11 millimeter, root length is 16 millimeter, Mesiodistal di diameter at contact area is 7 and at cervix is 5.5 and labial inguil is 7.5 and 7 uh, one is at contact area and one is at the cervical line and the curvature of cervical line mesially is 2.5 and distal it is 1 now we have the various surface that is the labial aspect so labial aspect mandibular canines are similar to maxillary canines except that they are slightly narrower mesiodistally you can see it is smaller comparatively smaller than the maxillary canine and next feature is mesial outline of the crown is straight and in line with the mesial outline of the root you can see it is in line with the mesial outline of the root also whereas the maxillary canine is the crown is little bulkier so it won't come in the same line and the mesial cusp ridge is smaller than the distal cusp ridge the mesial outline is straight and obtuse uh, mesio incisal ankle whereas the distal outline is convex and rounder distal incisal ankle the incisal aspect it's not sharp as maxillary canine now the lingual aspect lingual aspect the mesial distal and incisal outlines these margins mimic those of the labial aspect and cingulum is less prominent and marginal ridges are less distinct whereas the maxillary canine the cingulum lingual fossa and the, all those marginal ridges are very prominent and very distinct so here it is not very distinct and not prominent so uh, we don't have much features in mandibular canine lingual area and the mesial and distal aspect also these aspects are very similar and the cervical line curves more on the mesial aspect so i mentioned repeatedly mesially it is more curvature than the distal one and the contact area on the mesial aspect is in the incisal third and little higher that is a more cervically on the distal third so there are some common rules for all the teeth because on the mesial side it is more towards the incisal and on the distal side it more towards the cervical and the incisal aspect just like maxillary canine the labial lingual dimension is more than the mesio distal dimension and the cusp tip appears inclined in a lingual direction and finally the root the root is shorter by 1 or 2 mm than the maxillary canine. Maxillary canine has around 17 millimeter. It's the longest root. 
and this is around 1 or 2 mm that is around 16 millimeter and the developmental depression is more pronounced on the lower canine than maxillary canine okay so that is all about mandibular canine it is very shorter video but um, it has got features but you need to compare it with the maxillary canine sometimes question might come as compare maxillary and mandibular canine so that is why i have taken mandibular canine just after maxillary canine before moving to premolars so hope you understood this again i'm telling you when you're writing this any question of tooth anatomy you need to start with some general introduction just like cornerstone of maxillary tooth and its basic functions then the chronology then dimensions then start with the diagrams and each aspect and stop with the root okay so i'll come up with maxillary first premolar in my next video thank you